Cameron Dia and kicking it with the wildest artist on TV. That is Amy Fizz. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're in you up live from New York City with the trending pop culture moment that you requested on your social feed. So I think it's time to go ahead and get today's show started, y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Here we go. Now, Crashing the Couch is a 19-year-old rapper who's already blazing up the Billboard charts. Now, his song Red Roses has over 40 million views on YouTube, y'all. Yes, and he's performing his single later on. Please welcome Lil Sky. <laughs> Uh oh. They were loud for you. Yeah, yeah, it's about to go down. <laughs> now, our next guest, she's one of the stars of 2018 new breakout hit TV show, Grownish. Make some noise for Francia Raisa. <laughs> Good show. Here, why don't you scoot over a little okay. bit? Yeah, there we go. Now, 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 Skies, what up, bro? I, I, I think I gotta go ahead and dig on into it now. Let's do it. You got <laughs> these tats, and and people, every time somebody see me, they look at my face, they're like, oh my God, I can't believe it's real. You really do got a tattoo. <laughs> uh, duh. Duh. <laughs> now, you got a tattoo yeah. on your eyelids. Yeah, I got my eyelids tatted. You got it. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, let, me see, let me see. Show the world. Show the world what you got. 98. Now, now I know what my mama said yeah. when she seen mine. She was like, oh, I'm just gonna put you in the Lord's hand. Yeah. <laughs> what did your parents say <laughs> when my they seen your tattoo? My mom, she was like complaining. She was obviously on some mom like, oh my God, why'd you do that? She think I'm very handsome, so she was like, why would you do that? Like, you're my first baby. Why would you mess up your face? But I told her like, I'm a rock star. I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> Dude, you gotta do. You know what I mean? She was with it. She was like, all right, let's go. Pipe the year up. you were born? Yeah, 98 the year I was born. 98 the year you was born? Yeah. Oh, y'all making me feel old. Oh. Yeah, I feel yeah. old. <laughs> well, Francia, yeah, you're not the, or he's not the only one with tattoos. You have a rose on your ankle. I have a rose on my ankle. Your song is it. called Red I Roses. Love it. So you have a rose oh, as well? Oh, that's awesome. It's beautiful. You have yeah. a song about roses, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Wait, yeah. so what's the significance of the rose for you? You have a rose on your face, right? Yeah, I have yeah. A, a dark rose. It's a dark rose, oh. not a red rose. So what does the rose mean to, mean to you? Okay, so I love red roses, but that's not why I got it. I had a boyfriend that was like, you're not allowed to get tattoos. So as soon as we broke up, I was like, you can't tell me what to do. Yeah. So it was my first one. Wow. So you lost the real red. Rose uh, mine's is a dark rose, but I got the dark rose because I come from a small town. So I feel like when and when people go and give somebody roses, nobody's gonna give you a dark rose. They gonna think like you want something evil or something. Yeah. That's weird. So I feel like a dark rose is rare. I come up from a small town, rare gem. I'm the dark Ooh. rose. Nice. And it's more dark roses in the world. So that's why I named my project Life of a Dark Rose, because like it's more kids like that coming up just like me. Out now, of town. speaking of Life of a Dark Rose, you, you about to start your Life of a Dark Rose tour mm -hmm. next month. Yes, sir. Yeah. Next month. But, hey. but this is not. This not your, your first tour. You was on tour with Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah, I went on tour with Lil Now, you got to give us some juicy moments. Like, how was that <laughs> like? It was awesome. It was lit. I was actually, I had food poisoning the day before I was supposed to go on tour. Oh, and they was like up to me if I was like not going to go or go. But I'm not going to ever let my fans down, so I went. Most definitely. You went. Nice. Have, that's, 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 that's real passion. I'll never forget my first show. I had the flu. I still oh, yeah, win. Still did. First good. show ever. That's good. Dedication. Good. Dedication. All right, guys. Well, it is time to get to the question of the day. And Lil Skies is down to do whatever you guys want. Uh oh. You ready? You yes. shook? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let us know what you guys want to see him. Like you want to see him do. Hit us up at Twitter on TRL. Hit us up at TRL on Twitter with your answers, and Lil Skies will make it happen live on the air. Now it is time to get into our pop culture countdown. And coming in at number three today, in honor of Throwback Thursday, it's the Spice Girls who are officially reuniting for a tour. Uh -oh. Earlier this month. Go, Spice Girls! Francine, you look excited for this I'm one. So right? My childhood. Yeah. Ooh, so, so earlier this good. month, Victoria Beckham, she teased this photo, and everyone was going crazy. Spice Girl fans were going crazy. Apparently, it does mean there's a tour. So you grew up with, or like, on the Spice Girls? Yes. Like, yeah, all of it. I was Ginger Spice in the talent show, and then, like, honestly, <laughs> yeah, I was Ginger Spice because I wanted to be Sexy Spice, and I probably performed, um, uh, God, I can't remember the song. Da -da -da -da. Shake it to it, the right if you're having a good time. Shake it to the left. What was uh, it called again? Uh, 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 I know that. Spice up your life. Spice up your life. There you go. Spice up your life. 
time. Yeah, so I performed in a few talent shows, and like we all fought for like 40 spice or ginger spice. Are you going to go to this tour then? I hope so. A AMTV, you want to help me out? Yeah. <laughs> what about you guys? Is there like anyone that. that you want to see reunite? Anybody, anybody that like I would any like group to see or like any tonight. anyone that you grew up on? Um, the original like Lil Wayne and like Young Money. The, young Money. the Hot Boys yeah. when they was coming up, yeah, Hot Boys. The Hot Boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm with you on that one. The originals. Yeah. I would love to see B2K reunite. Yeah. Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey you really? Can you look at that camera? You said one more time. B2K. Wow. I would love to see you reunite, please. That's fire. That's fire. D. D. You look like you have a, a thought about that. You no, I mean, B2K was probably like around the time when I was growing up, I just knew B2K was getting all the girls. Girls. Yeah. Lil yeah. my man. Lil yeah. Yeah. yeah, he just didn't know it, but fine. I think he gonna know it. Now he day. does, all right. Well, Francie, you're, you're starring in Grownish right now, which is a huge show. I'm That's sure everyone show. in here watches that. That's a great show. Yeah. And you play a college student. What's, I mean, do you guys hang out, like, with, you know, such an incredible cast. Do you guys hang out uh, after the show? Do you guys have any, like, college stories after taping? Uh, yeah, we hang out. I mean, we all are busy, but honestly, we have a group chat, which is something that you do in college, right, amongst yeah. friends. And we, our group chat is called Ish. And we literally keep up with each other on that text message feed, and we talk about everything. And then when we do hang out, we're just like, oh my gosh, what are you been doing? What are you been doing? And we all just reunited for Yara's 18th birthday. Nice. Which was really, really fun. And, uh, being Yara, I re-registered to Vogue, so apparently when you move, you have to re-register. So she had yeah. everyone register, which is really I cool. I love that she did that for her 18th birthday. That was really it was cool for her. so fun and amazing. Yeah. It was funny because I was like, oh, it's 18. Where's the alcohol? Yeah. No alcohol. Got it. Never mind. Yeah. 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 Oh. Skies. That was for the after party. Yeah. <laughs> now, Skies, I, I just want to dig a little deeper. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody see the tattoos, but I yeah. want people to get the real you. Yeah. Now, you know, today's rappers, they always so public about drug use. Yeah. But you more like anti-drugs, you know what I'm saying, use, especially with Zans and Lean, like you get in specific, like yeah. why that route, you know what I'm saying, you don't want to go no, toward wanna, the same route these other I wanna rappers I want to live, go. I want to be healthy. Uh-huh. I got stuff I got to focus on, like tour, I'm trying to be like the uh, arena artist, I want to uh -huh. sell out arenas, stuff like that, so like, I just don't, and, I feel like a lot of rappers, they're making it cool to do it, and that is influenced a lot of other kids, but like me, I'm scared because I don't know what it's gonna do when it's getting in my body, so that's why I just stick to what I know. Most well, definitely, we respect you for that, bro. You wanna live okay. and what? I wanna live and be healthy. Sky, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right now, Sky. Yeah, wait, can I, to live and be healthy. can I ask you something, yeah. though? Because like, I obviously think that's such an important thing that you're kind yeah. of going out to your fans, but I love your track, Red Roses, Thank and you. I listen to it, and the first line in Red Roses is about yeah. Drugs, drugs, yeah. Right? Yeah. So can you explain that? Cause yeah, fans, I'll explain that. Because fans that don't know that, that you was do a, drugs. Yeah, that was just a, drugs, that doesn't mean that I was talking about like, oh, oh, this is just a time of my life where like, I was just doing what I had to do, get by, trap mm -hmm. and whatever. And that's how I came up with it. I was like, I got what you need. That's what it was. That's how, that's literally what that, that's all that line was. It was like a time of my life where like I was coming up, like people knew me, but I wasn't like, you know, I had to find that hit where mm -hmm. Roses was the one. We, it's we definitely a it. hit, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, Francia, a lot of people not only know you because you're such a talented actress, but they also know that you are Selena Gomez's best friend, and you selflessly and bravely gave up your kidney to her while she's battling. Hold up, hold up. I don't, I don't think y'all. I don't think y'all. Y'all get up off y'all feet for that. Get up off y'all feet for that. Get up off y'all feet for that. That is all. I don't think y'all understand. Things like, oh, I love you so much, I'd do anything for you. I mean, yeah. you proved it, and it's such a beautiful bond. I'm curious, like, how does that change your bond when you really give up a piece of yourself to your friend? So the first thing I told her is, I don't want this to change our friendship. I think the important thing about friendships that people forget is just because you give doesn't mean you always have to receive. And our friendship was amazing, and it's continuing to be amazing. It hasn't changed. And I think that's what really friendship is about, is being there for one another, but not expecting anything in return. It's unconditional love, honestly. So, no, it hasn't changed. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, you know, obviously, Selena Gomez's fan base is such a beautiful community. Mm -hmm. And they were also, I'm sure, showering you with love and affection and support. Did you get sent any like cool fan gifts? No, but I got told a story. I don't think they know where to send gifts, which is fine. I appreciate all the tweets and Instagram messages. Like, honestly, it was so overwhelming, the amazing support. But there was one person who donated a kidney to her dad, and she said she was really upset 
at him and the fact that she had to do it because of the scars that she had and she was too embarrassed to show them. I'm like, I love crop tops. Mm -hmm. I don't mind showing my scars. And so she said, because I dress the way that I do it and I'm not afraid to show my scars and I flaunt it, it made her more comfortable to show her. So that was like awesome. really amazing gift. That, that's probably one of the best gifts that I that's got. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so All right, guys, we're well, coming up. We ask Little Skies and Francia everything that you're afraid to. Plus, Little Skies performs Red Roses a lot. Oh.